Hey, what, YouTube, welcome back. Uh, when I left off, uh, we we were on this car, but since we're done with uh, race versions, uh, I'm going to go to a rare pace car-like car. It's the uh, 04, uh, oh, what the deal here? It seems my axle is broken, finally, on it. Uh, the inaugural season, Max Hill Cup uh, car. This was on the, when Kurt Busch made his victory tour lap, I think. Uh, I know it was at Daytona. Uh, I saw it sitting there in the middle of the infield uh, promoting the next Hill Cup. And uh, it's a pretty interesting car. I feel stupid for coloring on it, but, you know, hey, it's a number 04. You know, it's a harder to find a car, but a number, but. Uh, you've seen these before, the Hot Wheels color change cars. Uh, they're next. Uh, you know, obviously, that they're you put them in the freezer, they'll turn black for a little period of time. This was also an experimental car by Hot Wheels. Um, you know, they made uh, Tony Stewart, uh, Bobby Lamonti, Kyle Petty, Ryan Newman, Kevin Harvick, Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon. I think this series never lasted because they didn't make a Dale Jr. If they had made a Dale Jr., they might have had a shot. Uh, I destroyed my Tony Stewart because I wanted to see what made it color change. But now I know it's just a color tint on it. Um, they're, they're, they keep a black... T I bought the Kyle Petty because, well, you can never seem to find a Kyle Petty anywhere. Uh, this is a hard-to-find car, and so is, the for some reason, the 2003 Kevin Harvick Goodwrench car. You can never seem to find him. Uh... If I knew how to work, uh, window, uh, if I know, if I had a better movie maker uh, thing, I'd cut this out and then show you what it looks like color changed as a test car, but it's basically just turns black. Uh, it kind of turns, uh, watch this, ooh, surprise, there's ten minutes later, that's basically what it looks like, except, and then when it turns back, it turns back into that, uh, it doesn't have the happy face on it. It just turns black, and all you can see is a 29. Uh, same thing with the 18. Same thing with the 45. Same thing with the 12. Uh, that's basically what that is. So They were pretty uh, lame, I have to say. I kicked myself for not buying Johnson or Gordon. Uh, they chipped uh, rather easily. Uh, that's why I keep my diecast in good shape, because uh, 20 years from now, people are going to look back and say, Damn! So, uh, it's time for a retro kickback look. Um, this car, you know, it, it's what, it's how my people make fun of Jeff Gordon, the Rainbow Warrior. Well, the DuPont decided to bring it back and bring the rumors back again by releasing this car at the 2005 All-Star Challenge. Uh, it's basically a throwback to that car. It's the exact uh, year that they threw it back to, uh, 94. 5 or 96 or something. Um, it has the same decals on there, with some exceptions. Uh, it's uh, really nice. Uh, one of my favorite Jeff Gordon cars. Uh, one of my... Uh, one of the few favorites I like, besides maybe this Pepsi car. Uh, there's a Bandolero that looked like it, and I met the driver, and I'm like, dude, I love your paint scheme. He's like, I love it too. So, yeah, it, Bandolero looked exactly like that car. This is my all-time favorite Jeff Gordon paint scheme, though. <coughs> um, you see, they bring back the gay side skirt, uh, the bottom girl again. You never see that on real race cars because, well, they're technically not there. Say, they did the same thing there, bottom girl. So, yeah. Um, here is the, uh, mass-produced winner circle cars. Uh, I'm going to roll by to you one by one. Uh, first one rolling by is the 2005 Reed Sorensen number 41 discount tire Dodge. Uh, pretty interesting. Basically, a coach car with different decals on it. Uh, second car is the number 64 Top Fleet, uh, Jamie McMurray car from 2005. Hard to find car. If you have it, awesome. I love this car. I wanted it the minute it came out, and I found it. I bought it right away. I had to borrow money for it, but I bought it. Uh, this next one is 2004 Joe Nemechek, uh, per Army Personnel of the Year uh, Chevrolet. Uh, awesome paint scheme there. Uh, 
This one is a hard to find mass produced car. They did mass produce this. It's so hard to find mass produced though. Uh, it's 2007 Kevin Harvick 21 AutoZone car. I bought this at a Target. So it's one of the few rare cars my Target has ever come out with. So I was happy with that. Uh, this next one is another Reed Sorensen car. It's a 2005 Home 123 Dodge. Um, you know, it's basically the same shit, different color. Uh, with Reed Sorensen. Uh, this next one is Dale Jarrett's 2005 uh, UPS store Ford, and it's Designed by his kids. Oh, that axle's gonna break too. God damn. <laughs> this next one is a uh, 2005 Gretchen Wilson uh, GM Goodrent Chevrolet. Uh, it's either, yep, 2005. Uh, it's a good looking car. Uh, good looking woman on the hood. Uh, in my opinion. Uh, she was hot. Now she's ugly. <coughs> this one is an uh, the best car Kevin Harvick has ever driven. It's his Kiss car from 2004. Uh, the best design car I think possible. Uh, it's got all four band members on the back of it. It's got uh, two of the members. On, it's got Paul Stanley and the drummer. I can't remember his name was on, on the side. Really cool. So that's it. And then the final one is Kevin Harvick's te 2004 test car. Uh, that's an that's a really awesome car too. Uh, I bought that to set the set of the Toys R Us in uh, way back. I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember where though. So that is that. And uh, here's the uh, rare produced uh, Winter Circle cars. Uh, I'm gonna. This is a uh, Morgan McClure's number four state water heaters car. Uh, I wish they made the aero exhaust one, but of course they didn't because that was Scott Wimmer and the diecast manufacturers have something against Scott Wimmer. But this is Ward Burton's last car. Uh, they didn't make a normal one with just state water heaters on the hood. It was the American Hero set. The, uh, I wish I had this entire set, but alas, I don't. So it says Air Force uh, 60 years on the hood. Uh, you yeah, have it good for you. It was available at races, and uh, Morgan McClure bought their own, brought their own merchandise holler for this. And uh, here's the next one: A.J. Allman Dingers, number two thousand or two thousand seven, number eighty four. Um, Toyota. This is rookie car, obviously, and uh, really nice looking car. I like it. Uh, hard to find. It can't seem to find Brian Vickers C.O.T. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Um, this next one is uh. 2005 number 79 Casey Kane uh, Dodge Auto Value Bumper to Bumper. I uh, bought this at a race for two dollars. Yeah, two at, for two dollars in like oh six or something like that. Uh, <coughs> if you play NASCAR seven, you'll know that uh, Kane drives a Trust Joyce car, and this is basically the same team, uh, obviously. So yeah. Uh, the final car here is a 2004, 2005, same look on it. Uh, Martin Trex Jr. number 8 Bass Pro Shops Tracker Boats for uh, Chevrolet. Uh, it's got the red interior, which is neat. Uh, hardly any of my cars have that. It's either black or white. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, can't unscrew it. So, yeah. But... Yeah, this is the, uh, and I will have more on part three.